Yeah. So, I was just waiting on one. I know he was sick of me. (laughs) (laughs) (sighs) (sighs) Sorry, Lewis. Had to do it to you again. Round seven. (laughs) 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 I know. I know. I know. We keep talking about shit and keep keep tinkering. Keep fucking tinkering. Uh, we keep coming up with shit, bro. I know. Where the fuck is Matt? That's a trap. That's a trap. Because there's so much shit in the game, the tinkering can go on forever. Um, I mean, we're probably just gonna start until he shows up. I mean, I mean, quite honestly, I, I'm kind of happy about what we, what we oh, found. No, like, so. So That's much just me. Because uh, what happened last time he, uh, I mean, it was the same last time. He's probably on his way back from work. Probably won't get here until about 10, 10, 10 to 10, 15. So we just fill him, mm-hmm. fill him in on what happened. Although it's going to suck not being able to enjoy random acts of Adam. Yeah. <laughs> I need this man to talk to Luna some more. This shit's crazy. That character is out of his mind. I don't know, man. Maybe Roth is right. This dude might be a liability. <laughs> I think so, but you know, what do I know? He was like, "Oh no, the more the better." Like, no, no, no. He said liability. <laughs> this girl's crazy. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, all right. Only one way to find out. All he's done so far is throw a rock. He's definitely he definitely keeps the, the RP like interesting though, right? So Yes. So if there's anything he's adding to the group, it's it's his fucking quirkiness. <laughs> right? I can already so, tell yes. that this campaign is gonna be so there's anything he's adding to you. Group, it needs to be fucking I don't want it any other way. Quirkiness. <laughs> this is the way. Way. For me personally, this is the most RP I've ever done. We only at level one. Really? Yes. Yes. Compared to Zyna? Zyna was Wolverine, basically. He only spoke when he needed to. He only spoke when he needed to. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Mm -hmm. Did you name your gun this stuff? You didn't. Yeah. Uh, mm. <laughs> oh, he misses his god father? No. God. <laughs> Uncle, yeah. I had a I had a godfather once that he turned out to be an Andrew Tate supporter, so that was remote. So that was... What's wrong with Andrew Tate? Don't even go there, my guy! What's wrong with Andrew Tate? What? Oh, I shouldn't have said shit. That man! The man's a special character <laughs> for one! Hold up, I don't want to deviate too hard from D&D. Yeah, let's not go there. Because... <laughs> what happened? What? What? What happened? Let's not go there. Uh, I don't want to deviate too hard from D and D, so hold up. They're going to the, uh, I'm gonna take a break yeah, on yeah. that combo. Let's not, let's not yeah. talk about uh, let's not talk about child traffickers on here, please. See it? <laughs> not guilty. Who's not the, guilty. Who's a child? <laughs> Who? He's not guilty. I don't know what these guys are coming out of their face for. Like it's crazy. Who's guilty? Who's not guilty? Who you talking don't about? worry about it. <laughs> nobody important. Nobody important. <laughs> Nobody yeah. that nobody I that nobody that deserves shit. any airtime at all. I what? Said this is shit. Who someone is in Romania right now? Or yeah, <laughs> this guy knows the details. You know who we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> he said Romania. <laughs> Out of all the places you can name, Dude, I, didn't, I didn't hear the name or anything, but just the way I'm like, let me point the uh, piece the, the the puzzle together. Here. I know how your mind works. <laughs> That wizard, that wizard preaching. That plus 30, son. Hell. <laughs> I can't plus this 30 guy is fucking... What, Superman? No, this dude. I don't know why he's sharing a phone bill with Rick. I can't believe that shit. <laughs> why, what? Wait, he shared oh, a phone with yeah. Rick? 
he shares a phone bill with yeah. Rick still. And Rick didn't, problem? Rick didn't pay his fucking share of the bill, so like his phone's all fucking <laughs> He's got oh, pay, wow. his his phone's his phone's off, so he had he's been using prepaid minutes. Oh. Mm. I didn't even know they still made prepaid phones. That sounds privileged as fuck. God damn, I take that back. That's wild. <laughs> I take that back. Prepaid. Well, no, it's not a phone. It's I think it's it's those cards you could buy and add minutes to your fucking to your account. <laughs> Yo, in the meantime, give me this freaking wolf monster lore, son. I hit it. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's so last God. week he didn't get. Mm. Last week he texted me around like ten oh three, so it's probably, he's probably gonna be on here in like fifteen minutes. Uh, Hopefully. Let's see. Let's do a recap. <laughs> okay. A recap. Uh, so you characters came into the whispering cairn. Con- we'll say Karn. Mm-hmm. And it's got that Celtic fucking name to it. Um, and you've made some discoveries, some interesting discoveries about this place. Uh, thing discovered some uh, some things about it that don't seem typical to many of the cairns that are in these. Uh, are in the southern portion of the Forlorn Hills. The, the deep southern portion of the Forlorn Hills. Um, so as you're exploring, you came upon a den of wolves. Um, with the wolves having been defeated, one in particular was trying to escape and did not make it. Um, these, the, uh, these two wolves are still... They're dying. They're not fully dead yet. Um, I think Luna tried to stabilize one and failed the check. Although I'm gonna keep trying. Yeah, you know, I say you could, you could retry. One wolf yeah. that's heavily wounded is still hiding in the back of the den, whimpering. Um. Uh. Very wounded, pretty much, uh, and whimpering from the pain. Um, I would like a sense motive roll from everybody except for Roth. That's my heel check. Okay, yeah, that's what I figured. A 19. All right. At the wolf is uh, stabilized. The one in front of you. You can't even see that black guy. <laughs> Yo, you can't even see the black <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was like, is that just me? Is that shit glitch, son? That's crazy. My man's rolling some shadow dice. <laughs> Yo, the shadow dice. Uh, he <laughs> rolled a 20 the first time he rolled it, and that just sold it. That was well, it. I can see it on the side. Uh, 17, real, 17 plus 6. I can keep it. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. He rolled the 20 the first time I rolled it. It's amazing. I saw it, too. You guys got so high. <laughs> <laughs> 23. <laughs> cents more than 11. It's, it's not. It's, oh, no. it's, un, it's unusual playing oh, a. Adelar. What is that? Damn, Skills guess. plus intelligence character for once, Machado. <laughs> <laughs> but you said you guys got some high ass skills already. What's going on here? No, yo, yo, I, yo, I'm struggling with the, the, the two points per level, man. I'm struggling, man. <laughs> I know that's got to be a change for you. I tried to at least, like, I mean, it's not like paladins need intelligence, but I'm like, man, I gotta at least have 12 intelligence. I can't be dumb. I need a little bit of buffer. Right. Right. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going to go 16. Okay. Um, Lucian and Luna, um, you noticed during that battle that Roth was particularly focused on the Wolf of the Shavings. 
he kind of got a sense, especially from the way he was attacking and his and 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 and, and some certain twitches to his facial features and, and the, the glare in his eyes. Like it almost seemed personal for some reason. But anyway, other than that, um, yeah. Look. Just, just an observation that those that Lucian and Luna has has noticed has sensed these wolves because that was personal. Right. Kind of like, oh, she kind of like gives Roth like a skeptical eye as she's like caressing this wolf that she just she's rehabilitating. Uh, like kind of like guarding it in a sense. Oh. <laughs> I guess Lucian looks over at uh, Lucian looks over at Ross and it's like at least uh, he's he's kind of com- connecting the two. Looking at Ross, looking at the wolf, looking at the wolf, looking at Ross. Like, what's going on with this? Oh, did Luna, did Luna actually speak to me? I Luna did. Yeah. Uh, Lucian did. That was Lucian yeah, talking yeah. to you. <laughs> oh, I thought yeah. Lucian was just expressing that he was no, looking no, for it. No, 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 no. What's going on? You know, what's going on with this? Right, right, right. Like you're not actually saying that, right? Oh, with this, yeah. Oh my, <laughs> I was my dude's talking to you. Oh, he's like, what's what's going on here? Like with the with the wolves. Ah, uh, like what's going on with this? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Roth. Uh, Roth. After he finishes, uh, I think he killed the last wolf. I believe. Um. <laughs> that, wolf, that wolf over there by the debris, right? That's not the one with the markings. After he kills yeah. that one, uh, you see him. Um, you know, he like pulls back on his uh, his lance, or I think I had the falchion out actually. Mm. So he kind of like just sprays the blood out, like he like rings off his his blade, and uh, he goes to pick up his uh, his long spear that he dropped, and he stows it. Stows the long spear, and then he goes, um, um, there's still one more. Kind of, kind of like changing the subject. Right. <laughs> okay. mm-hmm. So, um, so are we immediately, the little pipes up. There's no point of killing them. They're no longer fighting. Well, this, um well, does Roth know that uh does does Roth would Roth be aware of like the the, like the bad habits movie. of wolves like if they would retreat and then are they typical to like regroup and like come back? Uh no. Like not, what does he No, nah, I mean no. No, nah, I mean not this Breed of wolf. They're not gonna like mm-hmm. leave and come back for revenge or anything like that. Did we go around the den for anything? Like, did we did we look around the den at all? Did anybody check around the den? Yet? Uh, okay. No, no one. Uh, I, I have no. I <laughs> no character has checked out the their den yet. While while this discussion is taking place, um. So Fila listening to Rob, but she goes towards where she shot her arrow to see a fifty percent chance that it got destroyed. Correct. Um, so she sees it's, uh... it's a. By the way, it's a blunt arrow that does non-lethal damage. So she never intended to kill those wolves, anyways. So, so she sees if the arrow got destroyed or not. Otherwise, she puts it in her sheath in her own point where I mean. It is a broken arrow. All right. No biggies. So she has 19 non-lethal arrows left then. Blunt arrows. All right. That's good. So, and, uh, all right. 
so she starts um you know she uh picks up her uh no she already picked up her like shirt or something i don't know if we forgot about that but she does a quick ritual check making sure everyone is um healthy you know nobody got bitten or of the sort and then she heads back here um in the she tends she stands guard where she i don't see her avatar where's she at oh there it is <laughs> so while they're discussing she's gonna stand over here and um and i don't see the map so she's gonna, while she's here she's gonna do the check. she's gonna do the tech evil and perception just to make sure nobody gets on us yeah. So children's while well, you know children's doing that she's on guard doing detective Lewis and perception checks and with her pull arm out okay oh well, that area was the place that was covered up in a lot of thick cobwebs blocking an archway that leads to that opens up into a tunnel just as wide um as the one earlier to the south right uh, yeah. faint, your characters may faintly make out that like green light in the far distance. It's kind of winking in and out every so often. Um, so other than, but yeah, no one's checked out the den yet. So Felia's over there looking at the webs. I know Roth would want to check out that area too. And then there's that area to the to the far left that nobody's checked out yet. Oh, I'm over there. I'm over to the front. Mm, I could have sworn we checked this out, but I know. Oh no, we I did. Oh, we did too. Yeah. Mm, yeah. No, you're thinking of the one below it. Oh, right here. We checked out that one right there. All right. So Phil is going to head over there. So I'm going to check. Can I check back here? Yes. Um, Lucian, as you are looking through that area, you do find um, in the northern half of that den an old leather backpack that's half buried under a pile of humanoid bones. All right, I'm gonna take that with me. All right, so you pick up the bag. Feels like there's something. Hold on. Feels like there's something in oh, it. Oh, can I? Yeah, check what's in it. <laughs> check what's in it. Check what's in it. You open the bag, and it seems to contain an elaborate lantern of indigo metal inset with indigo glass panes. Cool. Um, uh, I uh, don't know what it is. Does it have any markings on it? Can I, uh, I will. Oh, uh, I do have a picture. Hold up. Hmm. A special lantern, huh? What? Green lantern. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Green lantern. lantern. Sorry, no for me. Is it what size? How is it like the size of my hand, or is it? Um, how big is it? I mean, it's big enough. It's about the size of like those those hooded lanterns that people normally have. So, that's uh, okay. about like foot it. and a half. The, with the old open shit. Okay. Wow, that, yeah. looks, <laughs> that looks like fancy. Like like it looks like a. Right. It looks like you can put it like you can wear it as a chain and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and there is Adelar. Can I examine that lantern a little further, Lucian? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If I did a knowledge history, could I decipher any more information about the lantern? Um. Yeah. I'd say roll knowledge history. Mm. That should have been a 19. That should have been a 19. Oh, Can I take 10 on that? <laughs> no, there's no taking 10 for a knowledge check. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what well, speaking of taking what 10. I I gotta, I, I, no, I'm just, I always, always got to remind myself that Lucian, uh, I got to, he's new. To the game, so I gotta. Whenever we bring up a new rule, you know, bring it up to. I gotta. I gotta explain it to him so that he. Oh, okay. That he can make take advantage yeah. of it at some point in the future. Um, there's a rule called take ten. Uh, basically, literally mm -hmm. means instead of rolling the dice, it automatically counts as a ten. 
Okay. Um, people would use that in situations where, you know, you don't want to constantly roll all the time. And, and you're allowed to take 10 as long as your character is not distracted or stressed out. Or, you know, he pretty much can casually get the job done. Whatever skill he's using, he can casually get it done without, you know, as long as, like, you know, like, as long as it's not like the middle of combat or or there's, or he's like stressed out for time okay. or shit like that. So it'll count as a 10 plus your modifiers. Okay. So um, the times you would roll, yeah. it would be like yeah. when, when you when you like really, really want to like tr try to. Um, uh, like perception checks, like you don't want to slow the game down by like oh let me roll a perception check here all right let me yeah. roll a perception check there let me roll one there let me roll like that could go on forever so if you're just like oh, my guys just can casually look around i'll just take 10 of my perception but if there's like a particular area where you're like i want to take a closer look then you can then i'll be like okay now give me then give me a roll instead of just taking 10 you know so that you have the you have the chance of maybe getting a 19 or a 20 um okay but yeah, that's 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 what take ten means. So if anybody hear anybody say take ten, or if you wanted to take ten, yeah. Um, you could say I'm taking ten. Um, in I this guess area. <laughs> so um, with taking ten and looking around in this area, you let's see your total perception. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, you taking ten for perception. Is it's a 20 total. Yeah. You got the senses of the vampire. <laughs> uh, so uh, you continue looking around and you do yeah. spot in the southern portion of that den. You notice a, um, uh, uh, you notice you find an intricately carved armband of unmistakable elven craftsmanship <gasps> bearing a repeating leaf motif. The armband looks like it could be pretty valuable. Any words on it? Um, no, you don't see any words, no script written upon it. You do also, oh, shoot, okay. Uh, Lucian, what Lucian also discovers is, uh, so he's looking, you know, looking around, he finds in the rubble area that's that's kind of blocking off most of this passage, but left, you know, there was some room for you to, like, enter into the den. But in the rubble, you notice oh, what appears to be a marble index finger that yeah, looks like it was cracked off of a statue. Uh, okay, I'll pick it up. And I'll, uh, I'll put it in the backpack. All right. I got a praise. Let's go. Can, I, can, I, can, I, invest, can I investigate it? Actually, my bad. I got to take that. Oh, yeah. You look around. You look at the marble, broken marble fingers. Brock, and you just slice. Like, okay. Finger by any chance. <laughs> Uh, you don't make any, you don't see any other pieces of a statue in this area. Mm -hmm. Is there a place to like maybe insert the finger? Pause. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh my, I'm taking a, I'm taking a drink for that one. Two finger. <laughs> <laughs> um, you continue looking around. You don't see anything along the walls or, or ceiling. You don't see anything where like the finger could be shoved into uh, <laughs> or inserted. <I'd> say. Yeah. <laughs> We're so I'm mature. For, this is uh, such uh, a mature game. Oh, anyway. As what? Well, um, oh. What'd you say? Oh, yeah. oh. Like, I'm looking for like a specific hole, or yeah, like a finger, like a hole to we'll put the finger in. <laughs> maybe maybe past the the cobwebs. Maybe we'll find insert it. insert. <laughs> maybe that's a science somewhere that says insert finger here. <laughs> uh, Sophia, your area. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, Sophia, what you see in your area, you could, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, we got demons in here. Why did it sound like that? Somebody put the voice changer on. Yeah, that's what I got. <laughs> Yo. Was, I'm going to guess that's Roth because I, I know I know Samuel got a fucking voice changer. My fault, my fault. That motherfucker said it. It sounded hilarious to me. I was like, oh shit. He's going to know who said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! My, oh, my camera was still off. God. My fault. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Um. Oh shit! Matt came too. Great. <laughs> He's like, I just realized that. All right. Uh. Yeah, I had to deal with Isabel. Sorry. All right. <clears throat> you have a picture of the bubble finger, or? Uh, I'm sorry. What was that? I don't have to a me? picture of that. Oh, you... no, no, no. I'm talking to. They're finding. They're, they found a marble yeah. finger to stick something. Hmm. All right. So okay. for Sophia in your area, as you go down this uh, down these this uh, alcove, uh, you come closer to what appears to be a wide dais that's spanning the back half of this western wing, and it calls attention to a faded fresco upon the south, west, and north walls. From a vantage point at the center of the dais. The wall painting makes it look like you stand within a massive room with seven short hallways radiating outward from a central point. A chain dangles from the ceiling at the end of each hallway, and each chain... Wait, am I reading the right one? Okay, I am reading the right one. And each chain... Uh, bears a gleaming colored lantern. Clockwise, the colors are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. If I hear a DC Comics joke. Nope, I'm not getting it me. <laughs> I wonder what he's talking about. Oh, I need a gauntlet. My hands are kind of cold. <laughs> My fucking God. <laughs> Um, though a bit faded, the fresco looks to be in remarkably good shape, given its advanced age. Alright, so Sophia reaches back uh, to the group. Um, I think I found something here. I don't know what, though. And then, you know, she has, she gives like a puzzle look. She's not too sure what she's looking at. Well, let's take a look. Yeah, let's look. Right. Your characters go over, and you looking at the fresco along the walls. Oh, that's and, interesting. And um, it's it's oddly clean, given by how old it looks. Can I show them the finger? <laughs> There's no yeah. map. Yeah. I picture you said of lanterns it was a picture of lanterns you said uh i sent the picture of what lucian found yeah, here, which was the indigo yeah. lantern she, she's like hey um uh, you know she looks at what lucian is holding is he holding out the lantern or no yeah i still have the lantern i put the finger in the uh the backpack i'm still holding the lantern she looks like you know she scratches her head a little bit hey that lantern there kind of looks similar to that up there. Yes. Uh, and your characters do notice that the fresco painting of uh, does show that um, one of the chains bears a gleaming colored indigo lantern, the uh, second to last uh, The second to last um, ha painting of the hallway um, from the uh, going uh, clockwise. Let me go ahead and go down. Right. It's so old. <laughs> kind of looks of this. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, you can, you can you check it out. Yeah, she deduced that it's it's old, but it's elvish as well. Okay. Maybe this is an old elven ruin. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Should we go put this on there? Should we go hang this up there? I'm gonna check around for traps and stuff. Yes, we we yes, let's definitely do that. Uh, all right, just ping where you ping the area you're checking around. Check for traps. I'm gonna go walk over to the uh, to the landing to the missing pile. Yeah, follow me. Where is uh, it? Uh... So Lou, I could see I could see Lou um Lucy and uh Sophia and Luna that that their light source because I know I'm not with them in their light source, but I could see basically where they're shining from, right? Yeah, yeah, you're mm-hmm. you're close enough to see all that light, yeah. Okay. Although yeah. since you're away from they're, they're, me, are they yeah. heading towards the steps or they moving but, um, away from you? Actually, or they just you can see that area. You can see them down the whole because I know like in real time, like. Are they searching towards going away from me or coming back? They were going that way to to the left. Right now you're in um you're in darkness. I'm a builder, you can see them. Okay. <laughs> All right. So um and Rothgar and Sabuna. Okay. But he could hear Rothgar and Sabuna over on his um which would yeah. be his left hand side. He can hear them over there dealing. What is Rothgar with right the side. wolf, the last wolf? Okay, here, because Rothgar and Sabuna are still over there in that cubby. Mm-hmm. Okay. What is Roth doing over there? Um, <clears throat> Roth is going to try. I thought I could use Handle Animal to rear it, but I don't know if I have time for that. I don't... I'll take it. Yeah, shit. Can I take a wolf companion? If it's a trained, <laughs> if it's a trained wolf, did you hear me? If it's a trained wolf, you could attempt to. I don't think he that. heard you. Wait, I, am I, I muted? Heard. No, no, I, I hear you, but I don't think we heard you because he asked you a question you. at the same time that you Luke, were making that statement. going in and out. I, no, I hear. Yeah, it's Luke yeah, I can't hear Lewis at all right now. Like, you can't hear me. Lewis is muted. I don't hear. Him. Yeah, Lewis' mic is going in and out. Luke, you're going in and out, Lewis. I don't think you hear. 